My name is Sam Vaknin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. And today we are going to discuss what else? <laughs> Donald Trump. Judges, prosecutors are terrified of the vengeful dictator Trump, or rather dictator in the making. Bear with me and listen to the end. Why would the conservative justices of the Supreme Court, who have spent lifetimes arguing for ori originalism and textualism, why would these people suddenly revert to the most extreme form of judicial activism ever witnessed in US history? Why would these people ignore the Constitution and trash all precedents? Why would they place the President of the United States and really the former President of the United States, Donald Trump, why would they place him above the law? Another question, why would other judges, not on the, on the Supreme Court, why would they indefinitely delay criminal cases against Donald Trump? Why would they suddenly postpone Donald Trump's sentencing following his conviction by a jury of his peers? And why would they do that with the full consent of the prosecution? I want to propose an outrageous etiology, outrageous causation, fear. They are all terrified of Donald Trump, who promised to seek revenge once elected to the highest office in the land. In the wake of Donald Trump's debate with the sitting President Biden, everyone is coming to grips with the realization of a second Trump presidency and the ineluctable transition to a dictatorship, possibly a dynastic one. The 2024 presidential elections in the United States are going to be the last free and fair ones. Even if Trump were to lose the popular vote the way he did to Hillary Clinton, his armed militias will take to the streets and to the Congress, and this time the insurrectionists will make sure that they successfully obstruct official proceedings. Blood will be spilled. Never mind who wins the elections, Trump would end up in the White House. There is no force left that can or dares oppose him. About half the electorate, the Republicans, do not regard such an outcome with dread. They perceive democracy as a ruse of the progressive liberal coastal elites, and they perceive the Democratic Party as a bunch of authoritarian, godless traitors. The gulf between the two camps is unbridgeable, as they fiercely and violently differ on all issues, from family values to immigration, and from the role of the federal government to America's place in a globalized world. A one-party alternative, with the Democrats' gun and their leaders incarcer incarcerated, seems very appealing now. Hence, the ubiquitous popularity of the likes of Orban, Netanyahu, and Putin, role models among the rank and file, as well as the leadership of the GOP.